Are you ready for a miracle? Are you ready to go into bliss? Are you ready to release anything that causes anxiety, distress for you? We don't even realize what we're doing to ourselves to create all of the anxiety, the lower frequencies, the judgment, all the things that are going on. We're not even aware of how much we are doing it ourselves, creating our own reality. But how do you go into miracles? Well, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to explain what a miracle is, how anyone can have one, and when miracles don't happen, why not? And also I'm going to supply at the end of the video a link to a miracle meditation that I personally use myself that will take you into a place of bliss and can open up the gateways to some unbelievable frequencies, power, gateways, openings to amazing things. It's all up to you. Are you ready to use these tools? I'm going to share some amazing information with you today. Welcome to Landria on God YouTube, here to help you break through the fears and live an amazing life. Okay, I just did a miracle meditation that I created myself. I speak a little bit in it and then I have some beautiful music and I had an amazing experience and I want to share that with you. So stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to give a recommended uh, link, uh, recommended video, and it's going to take you to that meditation. It's called the Miracle Meditation. But I want to talk first about what that is. Why do some people get miracles that others don't? Some get miracles that they never really asked for. We actually are always asking. Now I want to just say something before I explain to you how you can access miracles and you can start doing it right away. There has to be a full understanding and acceptance of the fact that you had a mission here. Certain specific roles that you're taking on, situations, events, uh, relationships, purposefully for you to learn and evolve. So many times we are not getting out of that because we came here to complete that mission to master those teachings. So I want to just express to you that if you came here and you had some challenging situations that you've been through, those are purposeful. So to try and get out of those and perform miracles when it's premature, you haven't mastered those teachings, wouldn't serve you well. So always keep that in mind. But I'm going to tell you right now, everyone, everyone is open to miracles right now in many, many forms. In other words, health wealth, relationships, so many different things that you can perform right now as a miracle. A miracle is simply a state of being. A state of being on the highest level has no thoughts. It has total acceptance and love. When you go to that space, everything's perfect. That's why when people have near-death experiences and they go to the other side, they almost always come back with heightened abilities, psychic abilities, healing abilities, skills, and they come back very often had miraculous healings themselves. Uh, you, you've probably heard of uh, Anita Merjani. She wrote a book called Dying to Be Me. She was taking her last breaths and came out of it after she went over to the other side. There's no other side, but when she transitioned into that space of perfection, of which you are also, and shed that momentary, uh, that fleeting density that we have here as human beings. She was connecting to who, what she really was, and when she understood that is exactly who she is, even when she comes back into this body, everything was cured. A mir miracle. She was cured with the most amazing four-stage cancer, and tumors went away and of course there's always this oh we must have misdiagnosed it no she knew that she was healed and she had to let go of guilt and some all kinds of feelings that she was carrying around now those lower frequencies are what make people ill those lower frequencies are what causes the anxiety and if you are spending your time about what somebody else is doing what you think they think or feel or they're the problem that's not the miracle space Every single person on this planet right now is ready to let go of all of that. It doesn't serve us any 
good purpose. There's no good purpose anymore. Uh, we were talking about past lives and going into that with Dolores Cannon. I am a, a quantum healing hypnosis technique uh, hypnotist trained by uh, Dolores Cannon's uh, um, teachings. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, she even said herself that we don't really need to go back into our past anymore. Sometimes it does serve us to clear up some of that energy. What are you hanging on to that you know, isn't allowing you to break through to the miracle space? And that's just understanding what you're still you know, grasping onto that's lower frequency. But you can do that without going into past lives. And the past life whole thing is great, but we're ready to stop looking back and deal with where we are right now and that is immediate you can clear up all karma right now hundreds of years of you being a murderer or doing other things can be released right now how do you do that you release absolutely everything that is negative from your thoughts to your actions to your beliefs anything that limits you any limiting belief or thought is not the miracle space so if you want to go into the miracle space you have to know that you are absolutely perfect and that everything else is you being allowed to create all kinds of cray cray stuff so that you can challenge yourself to what it is we don't or can't do when we're out of our, out of our bodies because we don't have this density. So when you're going through all these challenges and these things and you're looking at this world and you think it's awful and then you go into this space of thinking it's awful and you're actually fueling that more, then you're not going into that space of perfection that is available to you absolutely this moment. A miracle awaits every single person and it could be anything you call it. What is a miracle? A miracle is really the perfection of every human being that is just one energy and everything you do, and this is a very important part, everything that you do to another you are doing to yourself. So when you are conducting yourself in a way that's negative, if it's talking poorly about somebody, if it's blame, uh, any, any number of things that we know are lower frequency actions and thoughts and beliefs, you're doing it to yourself and you will not go into the miracle frequency, the miracle space of perfection when you're doing that because you're still in separation. A miracle space is knowing that you and the one are one, that you and the Christ light are one, and that these things you shall do and more, and that walking on water is possible. You're probably not going to do that, but it is possible. And that there's so many other things that you can do here and focus on that aren't about me, 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 and my ego. It's about whatever I do out there with and to others. I am doing to myself. How much value can you bring by releasing any limitations and separation from that beautiful person that may be angry, that may be guilty, that may be sick, and allow your positive energy to affect them. And so when you're putting that amazing positive frequency into the collective, you are not just helping others. You're going into the miracle frequency that you know that everything is okay. It's okay. And nothing that you go through on this planet threatens you. And when you know this, it stops being a problem and you don't struggle anymore. And you go into this space where you realize everything has purpose. The one doesn't make mistakes. I am that. You are that. I am. And so what am I going to do with it? You get to choose. But to go into the miracle space is just knowing that I am and no thought is necessary. No judgment, no analysis, no rules, no laws. We always have all these laws, but there's just unconditional love and perfection. Everything else is you being allowed to experience the darkness that we don't get to experience when we transition out of these bodies. We get to experience density here unlike any other place in the universe. What are you going to do with it? And to release it is accepting the fact that it doesn't really exist unless you believe it does. And that's why you can be walking around with people in the same, on the same planet with the same stuff going on and they will see a completely different world 
They will actually be in a different dimension, in a different reality, even though you're existing here with them. That's awakening. And then miracles happen. They're second nature. You can actually just think of something. I know a lot of you do this. And that's why I teach manifesting. You know all my manifesting courses. Go to LandryRacket.com and you can find out how to manifest. And then we go into awakening. And miracles is one of the courses I teach. I have love and relationships also. But it comes down to one thing. Loving yourself. Loving others unconditionally. And knowing that everything has positive purpose is always working in your favor and that instead of opposing anything we go straight into it we go straight into it you may feel some fear and some things like that but that going into it is letting go and, and having faith knowing I'm going to be okay even though I'm having this human experience right now that doesn't feel so good sometimes right when you know that you are already everything you need and you drop the other thoughts Miracles are second nature to you. Now, if you want to go into those classes, um, if you go to LandryRanka.com or sign up for Manifest Anything, it's my weekly uh, videos where I talk about the steps to manifesting. And the first step is, if you don't think you have this power, you don't. You hold so much power that you can limit yourself. You have to know you hold the power of Christ and that Christ made that statement and kept telling us over and over, you're all gods, these things you should do and more. When do you start believing that? Because you're opposing, if you don't, you're opposing the very high power that was telling you how things are. It's that simple. Everything else is made up and you're allowed to do that. Are you done with the lessons? Are you done with the blame and the criticism and the judgment are you done creating stories and you're going to start to focus on here because it's all coming from me and from here and here I'm creating that out there and whatever happens here affects everybody out there it's really not an individual at all and whatever I send out there comes back to me so when you're sending light and love and and healing Miracle, the miracle uh, space, actually, if you take my class, you'll understand and learn that how to perform miracles is not to heal anything at all. It's to already see it perfect. There's nothing here that's in the way. You already know that it is, every, it is perfect already, and you are actually in that state of being right now. You just have to know it and accept it and let everything else go. Are you ready to do that? So you're going to see uh, a video recommendation coming up right at the end here. It's going to pop up, and that's going to be the miracle meditation. All right? I do talk a little bit, and I have beautiful music. It's about a half hour, and I filmed it in the Georgia mountains. I watched the sunrise at 5 o'clock in the morning. And the more you meditate, the more you will go into that space. I talk you into that perfect space, and so the... Hopefully the thinking will subside and you recognize who and what you are. Hopefully you'll have some amazing experiences like I do when I do the meditation. I actually go outside my body sometimes and people visit me over there and there's a joy that comes over me sometimes that's unexplainable and uh, undescribable. It is your natural state of being. So I want you guys to please subscribe or you can go down this description, and I have the subscriber uh, link there. Please ring the little, click the bell, and it'll let you know when I have more videos out. Let's get creative. No more rules. No more criticizing. No more this is how things are. There are no rules. There are no rules. Right? You're on the, pl the no plan plan like I am. I'm, I'm on the no plan plan. <laughs> Open up. There's nothing to fear. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Go visit my websites. I've got free stuff for you there. And go into some of the training and find out how you can get out of this negative frame of mind and conditioning and go into what you are. And that's a miracle worker. You deserve it. You're beautiful. 
Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.